Hi, in this video I'll show you different ways to increment numbers. So let's say for example we have uh, we type 1, 2, and 3 and we want to increment that set of numbers. Maybe we'll increment it to 15. All I need to do is select that range and click on the fill handle and can drag it down here and you can see that it's incremented it down from 1 uh, to, to 5. Now if I felt a little bit lazy what I can do the other way we can do it is just type the number 1 press the control enter to stay in that cell and I can just use the uh, fill command here under the home tab go to fill click on series and then just type 15 and I want to my series is in, in column so it's going to go down if we had rows it'd go straight across but for columns we're going to go down and I'll go ahead and click OK and it's numbered from 1 to 15. So this is actually an easier way to do it when you think about it because if you wanted to put an increment of number and it goes up to 1,000, you can just type 1,000 there. You don't have to go ahead and double click it or drag your fill handle all the way down to the 1,000th cell. So that's another way to do it. Now there is a row formula that we can use. You can type equals row and I'll go ahead and tab to open the parentheses and go ahead and press close tab and this counts the row that we're in so this is the second row but if I wanted to make that count and I wanted to make this the first row all I need to do is just minus one and then it becomes the first row let me go and just drag it and it counts that from 1 to 15 so basically that's another way we can count it now there's also this rows formula that also does the same thing uh, similar to the row formula but what it does is the row formula uh, counts it at the row that we're in so we type rows with the S and what we need to do is let's say we're in D so D2 D2 and we're gonna put that array D2 so it's gonna count from D2 to D2 so D2 to D2 is really just one press enter it's just one but if I wanted to make it count all the way down and increment it I need to go ahead and lock those cells in first go ahead and press F4 puts the dollar sign in front of the D and 2 and so when I go ahead and press that to enter. When I drag this fill handle down, you'll notice that we get an increment number of two, but look at the formula here. It's this first uh, part of the array, this is called an array, is still D2, but the second part went from D2 to D3. Let me go ahead and press escape to get out of there. So if I kind of drag this all the way down to uh, this 15th cell down here, you notice that it has incremented it. And if I went to the last cell, you can notice that it went, D2 is still the same, but D16 is where it incremented from. So that's another way that we can increment numbers. Now, what if we wanted to uh, count, but not uh, linearly, one, two, three, maybe we want to do every odd number, right? One, three, five. So all I need to do is just enter that in there. I can click and drag the veil handle here. Since it's, but since I have data here, I can go ahead and just double click the veil handle and it's going to copy it down and notice how it copied down uh, every other number, uh, basically the odd numbers. You can do this for the even numbers too. If I just type two, four, six, and then select those three and double click it to fill it down, it's going to do the same thing every even number. So that's another way to alternate it, uh, but, but this way using either odd number or even number. Now let's say, for example, I have, uh, I just wanted to copy, I did one, two and three and I just wanted to have one two and three copy all the way down what I can do is kind of drag that down here and you notice it initially it increments it but what I what happens is there's this, this auto fill option and I don't want to fill it but I want to copy it so it's going to copy one two three one two three one two three so if I click on that you'll notice that it's done that now it's click one two three one two three and one two three now if we wanted to do the same thing but use a formula let's say for example we don't we don't know our, our our records grow and we just wanted to kind of copy the formula down as it grows with it we can use the rows function and then the mod function together so let's go back to the rows function type equals we we'll type rows like just this rows function and I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use this particular array g2 g2 colon g2 and of course I'm gonna go ahead and make that a uh, put dollar signs in front of the G and the 2 by pressing F4 and I'm going to go ahead and close that. So we'll see what this does, right? So it's going to give me the first row number. Let me go ahead and drag the fill handle down and go ahead and just build this out a little bit. So it kind of did the same thing as what I did right here with this rows formula, right? But I want to do this, I want to have it do this 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So I need to wrap that around a mod function. So I'm going to wrap that around the mod function and then I'm going to do the divisor of 3, right? 
And you'll notice that since I do this, it's not really going to work out too well, right? Because if I double click and bring that down, it's, it's still, it kind of does uh, the one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, zero, because basically what the mod function does is it, it divides uh, that row number, the number one by three, and of course there's a remainder, so it gives rem remainder one, it divides that by two, it divides by three, there's a remainder of two, it divides uh, that number by three, there is no remainder for three, so it goes to zero. So what we want to do is we want to kind of complete this, make this one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And what we need to do is we need to subtract a one here, right? Let me go subtract a one, let me go ahead and double click it to bring the formula down. And we're almost got that right there, but now since we subtracted the one, uh, it's kind of given us a, 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 a pattern now, right? We have zero coming first, zero, one and two, we want to probably add a one back outside of this particular function so it counts one, two, three, one, two, three. So let me go and press escape. Let me go back into this uh, cell G2. And now we want to add a one back here. And so basically it's kind of reversed it now. Now instead of having a zero, one, two, it's going to be one, two, and three, right? So press enter and let me go back into the cell, double click it to fill out the formula down. Now we have one, two, three, one, two, three. So this is kind of a, a progr programmatic way of doing it. Now my last example here is, let's, let's say for example, I, I didn't want to increment it uh, in kind of a linear fashion, one, two, three, and repeat it again. Maybe I wanted to repeat the same number three times and then the second number three times. So basically one, uh, one, one, and then this is two, 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 right? So if we tried to do this, let me go ahead and bring it down here, drag it down here and uh, do the copy. Let's try to do copy. Does it do it? No, it doesn't because I want it to increment. I want, it, I want that to be uh, three ones, three twos, three threes, and three fours, maybe doing something like that. Well, you can use uh, the rows function and an integer function to do that. So what I want to do here is type equal rows and do the same thing I did here where I had my row function there. Uh, whoops, rows. Let me go ahead and open parentheses and I'm going to do h2 colon to h2 and lock that first range by pressing f4 right and then I'll go ahead and close parentheses and if I do that and click enter you notice that it does the count again go ahead and double click it to bring it down bring that function down so now what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and minus one and divide it by three but I need to wrap uh, this whole formula, this whole function rows in parentheses, so this gets done first. The calculation here gets done first, then it divides it by three. I'm going to press enter now. Let me go ahead and get back into that cell, double click it to bring it down. And so now you notice there's there's a pattern here. Zero, everything here is under one. Everything here is uh, under between uh, number one and number two. Everything here is between two and uh, a little bit less than three, right? So what I can do now is I can use the integer function. So I want to type my int function, open parentheses, and then uh, close parentheses here. I'll press enter. I'll go ahead and double click this fill handle to bring it down. Not even, now you notice now it's kind of correctly done it. But I don't want to start at zero. I want to start at one. So I'm going to go ahead and put plus one here. Press control enter to stay in that cell. And go ahead and double click it to bring it down. Now it's go, it goes one, one, one. 2, 2, 2, and 3, 3, 3. So if I wanted to do it by fives, I can just go ahead and uh, instead of dividing by three, divide it by five. Let's say, for example, I didn't want three. I'll just do five. Press control enter to stay in that. Oops. Let me go ahead and uh, click here. That, that I want to change the five. Control enter to stay in that cell. I'm in H2. Double click it to bring it down. Now you notice it has five ones here, and then five twos there, and five threes there. So that's the way to do it if we wanted to increment numbers, but kind of increment it in groups. So there are the many different ways that we can increment numbers, uh, from the fill handle to the row functions to a mixture of uh, rows and mod and integer functions. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.